Workovers will often involve killing the well, then pulling the old completion or production tubing out, before running in a new completion to reflect the changing conditions as the well matures. On the other hand, well intervention refers to operations carried out to alter, manage or diagnose well performance. At any stage in the well's productive life, well intervention can be used to help maintain optimum operating conditions. Well interventions are often referred to as rigless. This means the work is carried out without a service rig or drilling rig in attendance, as opposed to a workover, which generally needs to be rig-based. If well entry is not required, the majority of well interventions are carried out using pumps. Wire line and coiled tubing will be used if there is a need to enter the well. This is called invasive intervention. Some well interventions involve running special electric wireline tools that log or measure flow rates sensed by the tools. This may help us to identify where excess water is being produced or how and where sand is getting into the well. Bin. We may also run slick line, which is bare metal wire with no electrical connection into the well. On the bottom is a tool which will open a valve in the side of the tubing allowing us to inject gas to start or increase production, a technique known as gas lifting. Another operation might involve running coiled tubing, which can be driven deep into the well in order to inject chemicals or run specialised tools. It can be used to perform work that could also be done using slick line or electric line. However, Coil tubing is particularly useful as it can more readily access not only vertical wells, but also deviated and even horizontal wells, which change direction as they are drilled. To enhance production, we might also want to fracture the well. To do this, we pump fluids under high pressure to fracture the formation. Propants, such as sand or specifically sized particles, may be used to keep prop the fractures open. 